what it's doing. No, hold on. Reset. Reset number one. Come on, reset. Uh, it is live. Um, we cannot preview ourselves right now, but if we did, it would look like that. Um, so, if you have to do about chat, there you go. <coughs> Given the topic, it's uh. So, a new follower, um, 169 followed me last stream when I was playing. Like, so, what time is it? I'm sorry, I didn't check. It's 24. So, we got five minutes. So, this is pretty chill for us right now, just cause. I got you, of all people. Life still. <coughs> Watch it. Oh, 
There's only the big one in the middle of the show. No! Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to podcast number six. It's six. <laughs> Close oh my god. <laughs> Alright, um, I'm Nezarak with DBM Gaming. Today I have... This is Virgil Revenge DM speaking in today's podcast. As and well as Actually Toxic. There we go. I like that one. I like the graphics on this. Um, Alright, so far, we really don't have uh, much to say because we're disowning each other on fucking <laughs> Smash Bros. Land him on the way. You gotta pick random on stadiums, yeah. Mm, I do. I got Pac Man. Oh, uh, yes. Fucking game in the watch. Three, two, one, go! Wait, why am I going the wrong way? <laughs> Game & Watch is a Keyblade Master? Probably. Probably the looks like it. No, because you do is down, uh... Down A, is it down smash? Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Here for a second. No! Right in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're gonna. We. I'm enjoying this little smash session we're doing, so we're gonna take a quick pause. Uh, and we're gonna just leave it on the, the character select screen. But, uh, first topic that we gotta talk about is Pokemon Day! Or is it over? No. Uh, I believe it was. So, March, like, when it was. Okay, so. Anyways, uh, today is Pokemon Day, and now you can on Pokemon Go they're releasing all the original characters that were uh, that was released with um, the first set of Pokemon Go. So Pikachu, Squirtle, and Pikachu and Eevee will have special hats on during this lovely event. Little flower crowns of all things. What else we got? Uh, yeah, we're not talking about the Dragon Ball again. Yeah, after that, fail. Oh, the stuff. I, I'm gonna leave that for last turn. Uh, fight. Um, so we're just gonna get the little stuff out of the way. Uh, so is Anthem a really good game, or is it just gonna be a Bioware's um, cr uh, flaming bag of shit? I mean, I played it. He's played it. You played it. What do you oh, think? Man. How many hours it, have you put into it? Um, not that many, maybe 20. That's that, where I'm at on yeah. the story and all that fun shit. I want to play it a bit more before I give a solid opinion on it, but as you can go online and see anybody else, they, they've, there's a lot of strong opinions about the game, whether they're positive <coughs> or negative. I mean, low screen. Yeah. Everybody hates them. And I, I, 
to prove a point, aside from Warframe, this is the only game that's really featured load screens in a way. Yeah. Like, you, you can't sit there and say, oh, there's no load screens, or you're part of the load screen, like the, what was the bad company, the, the division did that, where you were part of the load screen. Yeah. And it's like, okay, it's understandable, but you gotta remember, this is how they build the game behind it. And, and going into Looter Shooters, Destiny's load screen was the little ship thing, which was, I don't know, okay, but sometimes I took long. And then Borderlands, you know, you did the little travel thing, so it was kind of... I mean, again, there were their physical screens. Yeah. I mean, uh, what was it? I think it was Skate, or Skate 2, one of those that featured the first moving loading screen. And, like, that's, that's all I feel like. It's just taking it back to when games actually were good. Yeah, and one of my favorite ways people, uh, a game developer's done loading screens is from software, Dark Souls. They're serious. They have no loading screens in the games whatsoever. They mask them behind slow opening doors. So you can still move around by the look next to it. It's low loading, but you don't know it. I always thought it was the white door. No. It's like if you ever like have to crank open a door, it's slowly rising up. It's loading the next area, you just don't know it. Ooh, that's awesome. I didn't know that. Yeah. What about you, Jeff? I have no idea. Uh, I believe Anthem could be a good game, and I think it could get even better. You know, a lot of people have actually finished story already, yeah. and I would like to see them bring Who was something it? extra in. Because Angry Joe finished the story and he was only level 20. I was just like, yeah, well, yeah, if he cranked out only the story. Yeah. But, like, I'm doing contracts in between everything, and then, like, when it requires us to grind, and, like, and that was one of his big pet peeves was uh, the grind. And I'm like, dude, the grind was nothing if he chose Interceptor. Like, legitimately. I remember speaking of grinding, there was, uh, I don't know how long this happened, but they accidentally increased the drop rate. It's a crazy amount of people were getting masterworks, like, left and right. It was, I think it was for 11 hours people were doing some grind stuff, but that you have a lot. And then they changed the back, and everybody kind of caught on to what happened. Because like, uh -huh. I thought, hey, you know, I'm actually getting stuff now. It's crazy. And then they wake up the next morning, oh, commons again. They should have turned that back. I mean, they, they need to keep it like Yeah. That. Um, so Anthem is a good game, so I'm going to leave the Xbox in the next, after the fight, and when I set up the, uh, the stuff, um, the idea is for sure, only for the end, what the world is going to think. Uh, did you watch the Oscars? I caught bits and pieces of it, I wasn't really too close on it at the moment. What about you? I didn't catch it, I only just now received a notification that Fluffy was holding hosting the Oscars. There was no host. From what I heard, uh, Fluffy was there. Well, yeah, he was there. There, there was yeah. bids and stuff, but there was no hopes. That was the whole point of because this wasn't it Kevin Hart that turned it down because of the whole controversy that went on with him. What's up? What's up? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I just know there's no hopes, and it allowed more like segues and bits and things like that. So, all right, fight time. Go get in door. In the air. Oh. That sword is so fucking slow. Her upbeat is Oh, 
the fucking wild. <laughs> God. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to activate it. I didn't even have a fucking hammer. Unfortunate. <laughs> oh. Oh. Hi. <laughs> Times in a row. Fucking Bayonetta, she's Ooh. like, as soon as you get her in the air, you get caught up. Or I just don't know how to recover with her. <laughs> Alright. Now do the uh, champion board now. The, uh, what, what is it called? Tourney. 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 Uh, let's do board. I need to make a turning set, but it's whatever. So Mr. Apex, guys, since you're part of our Apex session now, <laughs> feel free to start uh, naming off some interesting facts. Interesting facts. The Legend Leaks. So, recently there's uh, multiple different sources. They've uh, got a list of characters that have been leaked. Among those was there. There was two already that had been leaked. Before. Really, Domino? <laughs> no. There, there was two that had been leaked before. I'm trying to find the list, but the two that we knew of was Otten and Watson. Watson was known in the coding to be a electrical trapper, kind of similar to Caustic in a way. And then Otten, he said something, something about a. What's it called? A stem ability. So they're thinking he's gonna be kind of like a speed character, and Watson is gonna be similar to Caustic as a trap. So that's that. I'm trying to find the list. Join the club. <laughs> Sound like DD? No. Remember when we did a, a tournament that was all level 9? Or <coughs> all level 3? <coughs> all level 3 except for the one level 9 that ended up winning. So... Okay, here's the full list of leak characters. I got it. We'll start with, uh... Some just load. Come on. Alright, so we got Nomad. Octane, Prophet, I don't know how to say this correctly, it's Pusaria, Jericho, Rampart, Blackout, Crypto, Rosie, Scunner, and Watson. Okay. So that's like, what, 11? Yeah, it's 11. So 11 leaks. Any of those names you think would be... Think, we already know what Watson is coding wise, what he's going to do. Other than that, the only thing we know about the other characters are the names. Pretty interesting stuff. I'm sorry. <laughs> are you expecting <coughs> a, a rise out of me? I don't fucking know. <laughs> I don't know. That and uh, so a, a big thing with the current legends we have right now is hitboxes. Mm. Yes. And sizes. There was recently a graph that came out uh, showing the hitboxes in like per, per like squ uh, center, square centimeters, whatever it is. And uh, surprise, not surprises me. Wraith is the smallest character in the game, like 37 or is it 30, 33? Yeah, 33 or something like that. Gibraltar being the biggest, which is 140% of Wraith's hitbox. Now it's quite a significant difference. Especially since all the characters are at the same speed. Contrary to what you may think when you play Gibraltar, he just has a slower animation, but they all run the same speed. It yeah. is, it is look weird. But 
when you when you got certain characters that can stand face to face with you and you pull the trigger at like level sight and their bullet, your bullets go over their head, you know, you have something that's to, to think about. And this has been quite the topic among the Apex community, and the devs have even spoken on it, saying that they're gonna have to readjust that because the one of the more notable ones is uh, Pathfinder and his hitbox. He has uh, a larger hitbox than his character model would show. Whereas most characters like Bloodhound, if you go between the legs or the arm with that with bullets, it won't hit them. Pathfinder, it will. So he's got a giant square hitbox. His hitbox is, if not the same size, a little bit smaller than Caustic's, even though his character model is actually quite small. So what do you think of that? Well, now I know why I kept dying so quickly playing that Pathfinder. Makes sense. I mean, like as you saw as uh, the last Apex game I played, uh, like I was around the corner and they still killed me. I'm sure if I had that hitbox smaller, I would have been fine. But yeah. well, at least until they chase you down. Yeah. Yeah. Imagine breaking uh, that character in a great size and think what happened. You can never hit that. You got this little like doll and you just like my ex. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I had to take the wow. chance. <laughs> You get a little dot your screen while Mach 8 and height your head. And bigger. Yeah, I'm sorry. Mach <laughs> I'm like, wait, are we still talking about my ex? <laughs> <laughs> no. But in bigger Apex news, Season 1 is going to be coming up really soon. March. I don't know the exact date. But we're going to be getting a lot of content. As a matter of fact, there is a data mine, another gun that's supposed to be dropping. Same, probably. Yeah, uh, hopefully a light. Yeah. I'm not saying that, I mean, the light class has the most amount of guns, but yeah. I, I feel like that they need another, like, uh, the R308. Yeah, like another rifle. Yeah. I think we need a light, uh, no, no. When you say light, you mean easy reload, or Like, what? light is like light ammo using LNG. Like, we get the Spitfire, and then the have explosion is the energy LNG. We don't really have a LNG for light ammo. Like a gun that would, I guess it could do a little bit less damage to say a rifle, but it has a lot more ammo into it. Especially if you do like a flip upgrade or something. Yeah. Oh, that would be fun. I'll be on board for that, but the Havoc was supposed to be the answer to an enemy uh, assault. assault. Yeah. That and you can select by turns into a sniper. Oh, does it? Yeah. It's like a, it's like a charge up. It's not just you have to charge up and fire the enemy. I would, I would go for the first. But as far as weapons like that go, they're barring a lot for the Titanfall universe, so more than likely <coughs> all the men in that game are probably going to be clear eventually. Other than that, not much going on in the Apex world. Same old stuff you've been seeing for the past three weeks. Speaking of which, games down for four weeks now. <laughs> <laughs> the one month anniversary. Yeah. Almost. Almost. Um, okay, so... I was gonna try to do a good segue with this uh, turning here. And have I got a good segue. Fortnite. Speaking of VR games, uh, <laughs> Fortnite isn't doing so hot. Well, Epic Games isn't doing so hot. It's reporting Fortnite dropped 48 percent in revenue in the month of January, which is before Apex's release. People were just tired of it, though. Yeah, it's had. It, I mean, tw you can't lie. 2018 was Fortnite, 100. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's the same old stuff. That and then Apex just breathed a breath of fresh air into the VR, then put a bunch of new stuff stuff like that, and people love it. Free to play, you know, no pay to win, stuff like that. Not yet, not yet. But well, even then, I think I saw a data mine saying that that the loot box or the battle pass was cosmetic. Kind of like Fortnite, but like at the same time, like I'm, I, I'm happy like that they went like the Overwatch route. Yeah. And the then, class system. Yeah, and now they're doing the whole battle pass. That's interesting. All right, so getting back to Smash Bros. Uh, or Nintendo as a whole. Uh, recent CEO has left. I forgot his name. Because uh, of... Reggie. Reggie left. Or the Reginator as his. Online nickname, get given to him. Yeah. So the originator left, and now comes in the boss, Bowser. 
Doug Bowser. What a name. So I've been told he was the reason why uh, Bowser is named Bowser. That could be possible. Just kind of like how there was a, a dock employee that was named Mario. And they liked it. And he looked like the original Mario. <laughs> so that's why they did it like that. But that's what I was told. I want to see this bitch recover. Do an uppy and fucking recover. <laughs> Anyways, um, so, what do you think this means for Nintendo? It's really interesting, because how much influence did he have over a lot of projects? Really? Well, I felt like he was the reason why we didn't get, like, uh, Japan exclusives on the Switch, or uh, cross-platforming to the fullest extent, or a lot of uh, just games in general that were allowed to be on the console. Like, I mean, look at Warframe. They took them how long to get there? Pretty good bit. So, we'll see. So, Bowser is now the new boss of Nintendo. Well, not yet. I think it's what? Oh, it should be the next rotation. Yeah. It's like an Indian, I think it was. I think so. Um, it's in like a month or so. But it's it's the end of his contract or something. Like that. It, it's along those lines. But hopefully it'll be good. What is that? Reggie seems to think that it can come into being good hands, so I trust him. Reggie says it'll be fine. It will be fine. We just need to make another Zelda title. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of Zelda title, the remaster. Of Zelda. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. I'm. I, I don't know how I feel about it though. Yeah. There, there's been some people that have, you know, mixed reviews on it. Yeah. It's like you can't hate it because it's Link's Awakening, but you know, it's like. It's like you <coughs> can. Like, but you... And it's a lot of things like with the graphics on it too. Where that's what kind of oh yeah, yeah. Like the graphics are fine, but like at the same time, they're. The style that they're doing is a little bit different. Yeah. She's about to kill herself. Yeah. Kill herself. <laughs> you go on the Nintendo and the whole company partnering a lot with Microsoft. Yep. So because of uh, Bowser, I'm going to talk about Bowser a little bit. Uh, Bowser is allowing this uh, crossover. Um. Microsoft is partnering with uh, Microsoft partnering with Nintendo to allow Xbox Live to go to the Nintendo Switch. So we're talking about Game Pass. Oh, it's a little better. Um, it's totally clear. But Game Pass, you know. Oh, like, uh, sorry, I'm talking. They've about got like what Halo, like. Microsoft's one of the most notable franchises. Halo, <coughs> the, the Master Chief Collection on the Game Pass. You're not gonna be able to play that on a Switch. You're just you you're know, gonna be able to play. I mean, I said yeah, like, you know, like ten years ago or five years ago, you, you, that never happened. You know, right. And then, well, like you would never think that people would actually like. So, uh, some of the uh, things I've heard of from, uh, is that. So, PlayStation has the Vita, yeah. and they're currently, like, sweeping it under the rug. They're stopping the PlayStation Plus services for the uh, PS3 and the Vita this last Friday. Yeah. So, but I think getting the games off the store is still available, because it's, if you go to the site, it's still just grabbing. But they're doing that, but, so it raises the question, are they going to make another handheld console, or are they going to... You know, like, so basically, Microsoft is saying, hey, Nintendo's mine. This is our handheld console. Yeah. And you're going to be able to play Sea of Thieves on Nintendo. So all of our exclusives. Yeah. Crackdown 3 on Nintendo Switch. Yeah. That's interesting. Do you think Nintendo will do the same and maybe put some games on this I don't know. Because it's all there, maybe? <laughs> I don't know, but I was kind of hoping for like an achievement system like this. You know how we get achievements on like games like Apex and stuff like that, where you kill somebody and within 30 seconds you get a rare achievement. And uh, so I would like to see like Legend of the Breath of the Wild have some achievements. 
I mean, yeah, I'll take an extra team and move for the next time. Exactly. That's what I'm talking about. Like, yeah. You would track it, and then if you already have an Xbox Live account, it just adds more to it. Because a long time ago, there was a person who maxed out their... Uh, First person? Yeah, no. yeah, I believe it was He him. got Xbox Live Gold for life. Yeah, him. So, yeah, he bought all the Japanese versions. Yeah. Yeah. I, like I don't know why I I'm that. envious as a fuck, okay? Just yeah. deal with it. Um, but he did what he did, but now he's able to extend it to the Switch. So imagine getting more achievements that way. And we're talking about dual uh, achievements on the like fan version first. And there's a way you can modify the Switch where you have a Japan account versus an American account. And it's a very There's you can get like a European Right, same with uh, with the, the Switch. Like, there's some free-to-play games that are Japanese only. And, like, it's, you have to be in like, like there's like another just like an MMO as well. But um, okay, let's say. Um, yes. And going on that, I'm just real quick. He also got yeah. a custom Xbox that says I made this inside of it because they figured he's put so much. Support behind Xbox. Oh, no, no, he just got dead. Yeah, same thing, but you know, it's still cool. I like that. Well, yeah, it was just the uh, it was the Xbox One first generation uh, dev toolkit, I believe. Oh my god! Like it was white too. It was the first white Xbox that they released, like all on Xbox One. But um, uh, so <coughs> with that happening, with the Nintendo Switch getting the Xbox Live and things like that. It's going to be a streaming service, as far as we know. So you're, you're not going to actually like go buy an Xbox game and play the game. But you're going to sit there and, like, I don't know if you've ever seen a PC where you sit there and click stream uh, my console and then you can play it on your PC. You plug up a controller and you just play it from in there. Have you seen that? No. I'll show you guys later. But uh, basically, if you're on the same network, especially if you're uh, connected via Ethernet, you can go on the, the app on the computer, this little thing will come up and it will have all your stuff like if you hit your profile, but you can also scroll down the stream and it will turn on your Xbox and you'll be able to access anything. I can play Apex Legends on my PC if I want to, but it will still be Xbox. Yeah. And uh, so because of that, I think that's what they're going to do with Switch. That's, that's, a, that's a thought. Yeah, but you never know what you are coming in. Yeah, I don't know. It, it's just what the, the most sought off uh, after answer is. So, uh, turn away from Xbox One and Switch right now. We're going to talk about it. You have another Apex bit? No. But Overwatch didn't release Hero 30. I saw, I started, I was on TikTok and I saw the, uh, start of his story and I kind of feel like it was, uh, shoehorn. Yeah. He, he, people were saying he's got one of the weaker stories and backgrounds with that, but it's still kind of neat. But gameplay wise, I, I've heard uh, competitive players as well as like a big streamers say that he's gonna completely change the way he's play as far as support meta goes. Yeah, because isn't he like a, an assault medic? Yeah, he's got like a SMG that has a secondary fire which doesn't have the same ammo thing, so you have one, you've got two different ammo sources. That is a, it's like a splash grenade here. Which is cool. And his passive, or something like that, he has an ability to crouch, build up a jump, and jump super high in the air. And I think one of the more controversial abilities that people are saying is why he's so strong is the uh, immortality theory. It's it's a little deployable you can throw, and it's like a big circle. I think it's a circle. It's like it's a, some kind of shape, square circle, whatever. It's called the immortality field. And what it does is all of the people on his team that are inside of it cannot drop below a certain health threshold. You can still get somebody super low, but once they're at that health threshold, you, you cannot kill them. They're, they're immortal, immortality. And that's like ridiculous. I mean, you can you can destroy it, but with the way the game's set up right now, you're more than likely you're gonna have a big ass rhino standing in front of it, and you're not gonna be able to destroy it. Mm -hmm. That means you got a, a team. So is this on PTR right now? Or? Yeah, some PTR people are testing it at the moment. So they're gonna call me now, okay? Yeah, that and people are saying swap up this ultimate. This ultimate, I've heard people said it's underwhelming, but with the right setup, it's extremely devastating. And what his ultimate is, it's it's, it's uh some kind I can't think of the name of it. It's like something Matrix, but what it is, it's like a wall. And what it is, is anything that you can get shot through it, 
gets amplified damage. And that's not like a huge wall thing, but it's like a, it's like a third of the wall. What if they swap that with it, uh, the immortality field? People are wanting to say, you should put that wall on his ability and give the immortality field to the team because it's like... And obviously make it run with the If they were saying realistically, with the wall being as small as it is and with how fast characters move, how practical is that wall going to be for damage-wise? Like, how much, how much precision are you going to be, you know... It's got a Hanzo behind it, though. Yeah, but, like, you know, it, you, I guess so. But with, so. with so much shielding going on, I mean, what people are saying, the more practical you said it, throw it down, burst a, a, a punch, Reinhardt shakes, and then boom, collapse on that one. But people are saying his immortality kill is definitely the strongest part about him. And his other ability is a... Uh, it's like a giant circle around him. It's a health regen ping. So you like hit all your teammates and they start regenerating. Mm, so he's got a lot of... like the orb of uh, what I'm out of. Yeah, he's got a lot of healing in it, definitely. I don't know his damage numbers. I don't know how strong the SMG is. But with so much healing, why even, why even try to kill people? What do you think about that? Would you pick up Overwatch again because of him? I would probably pick it up again, and uh, that wall ability really reminds me of a Titan from Destiny 2. Whenever uh, you're able to shoot through his shield, it amplifies your bullet. I don't know, was it the weapon of the light? It reminds me a lot of uh, that character Thoth from Smite, when I just he drops the wall and he gets extended range and then you, just, you shoot through the obviously the wall. You know what I'm talking about. Yes. I'm glad I don't know what you're talking about. You don't want to know. It's horrible. Yeah. Um. Oh, the game's falling asleep. God, these guys are going <coughs> at it. Uh, so. Overwatch is, uh. Like, I'm. There's so many things wrong with it. Yeah, they're at Hero 30, but didn't they say that they're eventually gonna have 50 heroes? They're gonna have 100, what they said. They need to speed up production. Yeah. True. But they gotta. You know, and then they can carry it. They get a backstory for it so they're bad. They're gonna all the skins, all the animation. No. No, do what they do with uh, Warframe and the Primes. Just shoehorn it to the side, do the next one. Well, I think with the new character, I think his name is Bat Batiste or something like that. Yeah, it's a, it's a bit awkward. Maybe it was that. or something like that. It's something with a beat. Yeah. Like, it reminds me of the, uh... He's from Haiti, too, if that matters. Like, that's his backstory. He's from Haiti. Yeah, but he was also in the midst of the Omnic War. So he he's, yeah, pitch, he's, uh... Right? He was Alright, alright. So we got Bowser. This was supposed to be the segue of <laughs> Bowser taking over Nintendo. Sorry. <laughs> Little late. Just a little. Um, you better fucking win. Uh, so, uh, hundred kilos. Yeah, just at thirty. How long it's about two years? Two years? Yeah, like it's, it's been at least a full year, if not two years, since uh, Bridget. No, it's been, no, no. It's no, Bridget is... Anna was the first character that had it. Right, no, I was thinking of uh, more Bridget. Um... Uh, I played with she was... I love that. Uh, I, I'm a little upset with her reload mechanic, but... Whatever. It's like, a balancing thing. Yeah, it is. So that's why I don't... Um, do you play Ash? Uh, no. Overwatch. Oh, Overwatch now. Yeah, that, that says something, alright. <laughs> um, <laughs> alright, so I'm gonna get a little personal here, and um, this is a segue into the next part, which is the YouTube videos and uh, So there's been some propaganda and some BS going on on YouTube, as well as um, my personal setup on it because of this. So, we are streaming on Twitch. There's a reason why we're streaming on Twitch. Because you took our asshole. So, I don't know if you guys look at the news or watch the news. So, you know what recently happened, right? Yeah, the whole the pedophile thing the video is taking over. With yeah, so we're, we're talking about the pedophiles and we're talking about the uh, demonetization of the, uh, that and the comments. AT and T, one of the more notable ones, that it feels to put ads back on and they're already cool. Yeah. yeah. So, all because this one guy got mad at him and he was doing too hot, so he decided to make a video showing all these ads and videos of like 
some really bad things. It's like even comments now things to monetize. Right, so so those are the two kind of things. So the, the story I heard about the guy was first up, there was two stories, I, and I know about Stout, but he raged on something that that I kind of like whatever I don't care about. Too. But the the pedophile one was he posted he went to uh, very questionable YouTube videos where it was like my daughter's first gymnastic needs or uh, uh, I think they're uh, just basically like targeting children yeah and then commenting saying that that was very sexy uh, I like how she moves and all kinds of weird shit. these like scaling up the 4chan wall basically and then he got to a point where he posted a video Bowser won, yay. Uh, that he posted a video similar to that video that would modify what the your next view uh, button. Like, yeah, you would keep clicking it. YouTube would keep recommending it to you. Yeah, the recommend. Uh, so your recommendation videos echoed what was in the comments, and from the comments, he did this tree of these like questionable videos. And, of course, YouTube reacted to it and basically was like, dude, no. And he got him and a whole bunch of, like, there they, there was a posse of them that was doing it. And, um, so basically he got banned, he got red flagged, and then, but that kicked off the next thing where comments can now demonetize videos. Three, so, uh, two, as a whole, one, we're just going to say go. a name, Van Gogh's Game, one of the biggest YouTube gaming sensations on YouTube. Uh, aside from Ninja, PewDiePie, and all that. Even PewDiePie would be a target of this. But he kind of signed up with YouTube, so he kind of has his own contract. But we're talking about somebody who makes content on the regular. So, Van Gogh. If I felt like he didn't deserve to get paid for a video, I can go onto his comments, go down to the thing that says this video is awesome, click down and people will say, yeah, it is. Click on that one, say, yeah, it is. Click on that one, say yeah it is, click on that one, but this video fucking sucks. This shit sucks all the time, it needs to be demonetized, basically cuss words, bad words, cunt, bitch, everything. The entire video will be demonetized. That's actually not true, they released a statement saying that you will only advise the content that would endanger my end for predatory so like that. They need to go back on the Well that must have been more recent. Yeah, that was pretty yeah so I say, this was like... Uh, Saturday, I believe I read this. Because people were obviously upset about it, so they had to clarify it. Yeah, because, so what happened, like, there was another story I came across this is where, yeah. So, so, basically what they're saying, quite funny, is, if you make family-friendly content, turn off the comments. Yeah, because these pedophiles and all these stupid-ass people can just fuck it up for us. Yeah. Because there was another story I heard where there was these people who were, um, Sponsored by YouTube and worked with some of the creators at YouTube and the, everything they had. People who would watch their comment sections to delete anything that was bad just for that and um, things like that, so on and so forth. Like, and yet their modernization for that season or whatever they were doing was pulled because of that system. And it was just like, why are you demonetizing us if we're making content? Like, how are we going to get paid for something that everybody's enjoying? And it, it, it was basically for that, and with the comments and the pedos, and it was just... Funnily, there was, a, there was two types of games, like one of them was Pokemon Go, and what was the other game that people were just, they were getting their channels terminated for some reason, like they're the... I, I know about Pokemon Go, oh Go, but I didn't watch it. What other game was it? Was it a public one? Yeah, it was, it was a game. And the YouTube algorithm was terminating their channels and like that. Like, it was by accident, of course, but it was, it, was, it, was, it, was, it was something with their tags. It was like something, like, I can't remember what exactly what it was. I think it was like. It was some of the letters, and like, they're, they're, they were shortening the titles of the thing, and people could interpret the little shortening of the letters to be something different, and that the. YouTube algorithm, algorithm was sensing that and was deleting it. Mm. Yeah, I read it, like I saw it on YouTube and I was just like, this is some shit. and just kind of scrolled on. It's kind of bothered me until I knew the other game. I know one of them was Pokemon Go. Yeah, I know about Pokemon Go, but I don't know. 
Okay, oh, Club Penguin. I think it was because it's CP. And obviously you could interpret that to be something else than not Club Penguin. Three, two, one, go! I'm trying to... Well, I know the C. I'm trying to figure out the C. Huh? Oh, yeah. Obviously. Yeah. Not me. But still. It's a far stretch, and obviously. So that's what. Okay, so uh, because of all that fun shit and everything, it's kind of it's gonna have a drought of content being released on YouTube, and I'm gonna be part of a drought. So lately, I've been echoing back and forth on YouTube and Twitch, but I think for two weeks I'm gonna stay with uh, Twitch until this shit clears up. See if I can get a few more followers back. <coughs> be a part of uh, my YouTube channel just by saying, "Hey, hit that subscribe button." Follow the link, uh, use the Discord chat, things like that. Um, other than that, I think it's just gonna be Twitch. And Twitch is a little bit easier, especially if I stream on PS4, I can get all my chat in. Versus, like, right now, it's, it's just using the microphone kind of thing. And some content in the background. So it's gonna be easy to edit and all this fun stuff. Um, I forgot to record the audio. Oh well. I forgot to pull up the audio file. You can just get the mod first, that. That's fine. Yeah. And then just download the wall and just pick the audio file for the podcast right. Anyways, um. So, because of that, um. That, that kind of leads to the, uh, the YouTube stuff being about the cut of shit like that. And then there's that. So, I'm gonna make videos now instead of streaming on YouTube and like use my streaming as Twitch, which typically is a normal YouTube thing. You have to put people main and they just put highlights and stuff up. Basically. That's what most people do. Yeah, and that's what I'm gonna do. So, Smash Bros, YouTube, like I'm just gonna cut it off at a certain point. Like, take out the low streams, take out uh, the character selects and things like that, and just like post it. Uh, use some of the free uh, non-monetized fucking music. That. Call it good. So. And that's one thing about streaming on Twitch too, is that you don't really get demonetized and stuff you want to get. But it still does get pinged. Yeah. It's like it will mute it if you try to do a VOD of it, yeah, it will mute it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but once you get to a point where you're making a bunch of money on the sun, it adds to that, it doesn't matter. Yeah. So. Again, just to uh, point out, uh, I am with two other streamers here. My name is Netherxen, and I'm trying to hit a thousand. I'm trying to get the monetization goal on uh, Twitch and YouTube, so it's a thousand followers, um, 10k watch time. Uh, I actually believe I already hit the watch time. I'm not 100 percent sure, but um, the, I, I still need like 970 more fucking subscribers. So please. Hit that subscribe button. Join us in Discord. We like to talk shit to each other. There's a lot of stuff going on. Um, typically, we're posting any videos that we're doing or if we want to keep up on the game or anything like that. We try to double check with our people. And then, again, with the two people that are here with me today is. Actually, Toxic at Twitch and all socials action. And Virgil Revenge DM on YouTube. Uh, what's your Twitch? Or your Twitter? Twitter or my Twitch? Twitter. Both. Because I think it's the same. Twitch is Stealth Fighter DM, and then I believe the... Uh, Twitter is just Virgil. Yeah, I believe Twitter is now Virgil Revenge DM as well. Okay, so, I'm going to go ahead and speed this up, because I don't care about <coughs> this. Yeah, since we're closing out the podcast, is there any like plugs you guys want to put in? Like any like uh, schedules or... Mr. Apex Legends over here. <laughs> um, you may see me be a lot more active this weekend. Right. Uh, so how do how do we find you? Uh, you can. I'll probably tweet out or something like that when I'm live. Oh, Bowser lost. And then, other than that, my Twitter is probably where I'll be most active by Seven saying that I'm gonna get streaming and stuff like that. And it's actually underscore toxic on both Twitch and Twitter. Yeah, and I finally added you on. Xbox, which I'll eventually add you. Yeah, I'm a console club. I'm gonna upgrade soon, don't worry. Final. 
but I tell you what, I put on a damn good show on console. Yeah, that's an understatement. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so we're gonna watch the final battle, because this is how we end things. Uh, place we... your bets, place your bets, I got Toon Link. Uh, fucking Toon Link like a uh, bitch, man. I'll he, go did warrior. You, did you see what he did to, uh, who was that? The first person he fought. He threw him under a, a smart bomb and then ulted on his sorry ass. No shit Toon Link. Combo of the century. It's bad when, when bots can get better montage clips than these. Right? Yeah. So as you can see, we're hitting the timer at the last 10 minutes, so... Again, plugs, uh, questions... Uh, comments. Discord. Discord. So guys, practically today I am also, I will be streaming as soon as I uh, get home. Yes. So, okay, so just a heads up, uh, are you gonna do Twitch? Are you gonna follow the, the Twitch train? Yes, yes. I'm gonna go to Twitch, so, you know, today y'all should be able to find me on my Murder Revenge D on a Twitch. That's what it's up. I believe it's, no, it's just stuff by the beat. There's oh, a way to change it. Yeah. Yeah, you can touch it. I, I think I've changed it like twice. You know, my I account is more so. Yeah, but it has like a, like a six month or a three month cooldown or something like that. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, uh, something stupid. Something stupid. But if you have the app, I can't. I don't know. If you can pull the desktop version off, it's good call. But I, I don't know. It, it's been a while. And I don't need to change my name. I ended up creating a whole new account. Doom Link already with a fucking three stocks. Down to one. I like Wario's like one off of him. I don't like Wario. I feel like he's still Yeah. Nice. Come on, Wario. <laughs> I've placed my bet on you, man. Um, Obviously, it's the wrong move, but. Oh, no, no, no. Uh oh, no. Well, I was about to say, shot. you gotta recover from that. Not after the ball shot. <laughs> so, next turn, I'm gonna have to pull up uh, all the all the pe uh, people that are in the meta and go based off of that, because Doom Link <laughs> is in the meta. Of He's course. one of the few, like, his ultimate is less than two frames, and you can't aerial dodge it. Uh, Dark Pit is another one. Um, Falco is one just because of his power. Uh, there's, there's a few of them that are really bad, and hopefully next time that we do this, I'll have, a, if not, donate, uh, I have, a, we'll hopefully get, um, the Smash Pass, so. That'd be fun. Yep, and then get that Piranha Plant or, uh, Loki from Persona 5. Yep. And hopefully next time we have more stuff to talk about, it's kind of light. <coughs> Actually, no. Now look at the time. Yeah, that's true, I guess. Oh, that is perfectly fine. Perfectly fine? Yeah. Alright. What is that? But, um... What else? There's a few things I wanted to say. Please follow me. No, <laughs> <laughs> Um, donations are welcome. As you can see in the description of my Twitch page, uh, I have a very bad PC. In order to upgrade, I need $800. If you're willing to donate towards that lovely cause and see, uh, and see me lose, on Apex Legends, on PC, and all that fun shit. Um, what else is there? Uh, how, do, how, do, how you guys gonna get the podcast? Tell us how we get the podcast. Oh, I did forget that, didn't I? Yeah. Okay, so, this is kind of late for the plug. Um, so, lately I've been using Anchor. Anchor is a, a free to use podcast enabling thing where if you upload your audio, you can add segments, you can delete segments, you can edit your audio in it, and all that fun stuff. It's free, and it's if you want to get your podcast off the ground and somewhere to start, it's a good place to start without paying money. Uh, of course, it's not Audio Boom, but it does uh, port it to Spotify, Stitcher Radio, um, iTunes, Google Play, and all the other places that you can find your podcast if you can physically find it. I'm not 100% sure how it names it. But it does have its own little like profile page and ways that you look at things. So hopefully, I just realized I have to physically edit the audio. Anyways, <clears throat> hopefully I'll have that up here soon. I, I still haven't pulled up episode five 
on Anchor either because it, I felt like that was a failed podcast. Um, you have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> um, again, if you enjoyed it, uh, hit that follow button. If you uh, if you really enjoyed it, go ahead and turn on notifications. Um, I will eventually edit my profile to give these guys some uh, some clickbait on my profile. So you can go give them more follows than me, like everybody fucking else does. <laughs> Did I tell you about that? No. My wife gained 13 or 12 subscribers in less than an hour. <laughs> My wife, who only streams once a month, gained 12 subscribers in under a fucking hour. It's the name. And the voice, and she sounds like a 12 year old, but whatever. <laughs> and speaking of 12 year olds being popular on YouTube, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> that, that explains it. I used YouTube, I used TikTok, I, I, mean, I used a lot of shit. Um, Spooky and t- TikTok! <laughs> one of these days. One of these days. I need to make my Nezrak helmet and then I'll do a TikTok. Yeah. Um. <laughs> You know what TikTok is? Yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> All right, well, I guess this wraps it up. Uh, again, this is Nezarak with DVM Gaming. For Revenge DM. And actually toxic. Thank you for uh, joining this uh, podcast, and I uh, hope you have a good morning, good night. See you guys later. Peace out. Hey, down, down.